I had many other breeds before, but something which stood for bullies, you know, like Tailau. I mean, that's something like different from other breeds when you generally talk about. Hi, this is Lesniak here. I'm from Team Shell Exotics. Hi, this is Jagdish here from Team Shell Exotics. See, um, first when it comes to wood bullies, right? We people we have five different sizes, like five categories are there. So people have more options. So when it comes, we have micro, we have pocket, standard, excellent, double excellent. So we have five different sizes in the same breed. And no other breed have this five category. So suppose if someone really want a bully and they are living in an apartment, they go for they can go for either micro or pocket size. Like and if someone have a big farm, like then they can go for a double XL size. So that is one best thing which is good when it comes to bullies. Right. Uh, so every day is rewarding when you say fulfilling. Uh, so seeing our dogs in a good shape, good healthy environment, uh, and yeah, when you when it comes to breeding, so once you breed the puppies, you know you know they are of good quality, um, and you look for the right customers for them, placing them at good homes, and you know uh, so Lucky actually follows up with all my all our clients, and you know. Uh, yeah, he takes it on from there. We are very specific about breeding some of the females to the right males, right? Or either wise. It took us a year to select a particular male, right? It took me a year to select a male and then I bought him at the age of six months, grow him up up to one and a half years and then put him on breeding <laughs> program with only specific females. Uh, we also give them the right nutrition. We are not completely dependent on kibbles. Uh, so we feed them our homemade food and with a lot of other supplements. Uh, check your lifestyle. Uh, see if you're able to spend at least 50% of the day with them. When I say 50%, you it's not necessary that you got to be with them all the time, but you have to check for their needs as well. Uh, the second thing, you know, take them out for walks or exercise. So that is the next thing. Socialize them a lot. Uh, be it any breed, you know, you have to have them socialized with a, with new people, with other pets at a very young age. Yeah. So between that three to six months is uh, what you teach them is what they learn for their entire life. So what I really find good with Happy Pet is like there are a lot of genuine people, like genuine people who want their pets. So which is something very good for people like us who do a, put a lot of effort to find a good family for our, our pets. We are very happy to be a part of Happy Pet.